Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1979 Lincoln Continental Resto Mod. And I know you're looking at it right now wondering, how could this be a Resto Mod? Well, the owner of 14 years put his blood, sweat, and tears into this beautiful machine, and we're gonna go over it in full detail today so you guys can make a good decision on if you wanna put this in your garage. If you have any questions, click on the link below. It's gonna have underside shots, transport options, and where it's gonna be headed. Let's do it. Over the past 14 years, our good friend put so much effort into this machine. It's been completely repainted. It has a Jasper 460, so originally these came with a 400 with 145 horsepower, now it has a 200 horsepower motor. It's fuel injected, all the suspension has been gone through, and everything has been thought to a T in regards to drivability, ice cold air, the list goes on. Right now what I'm holding is a eight page pamphlet on everything you'd ever wanna know about this car. Not only do we have this, so this is gonna give you a breakdown of all the features that are in here. It's gonna give you all the maintenance records, all the history, along with all the original parts that are included with this beauty. This does have upgraded Willwood brakes in the rear, so it has disc brakes in the rear. And when you look at the side profile, it's beautiful. I would rate this easily an eight and a half to nine out of 10 because of the show condition right here. Interior is leather, it's been redone. All of your power seats work, and we're gonna go over that when we go inside. As we look at the front fascia, all of your chrome is show quality. You have this beautiful, grill right here, you do have the hideaway headlights, but the owner opted to upgrade them to the electronic. So that's gonna give you less problems in regards to vacuum leaks. Front bumper has no dimples, no imperfections. Your lights have been upgraded to LEDs. And did I talk about the paint? Look at how nice this paint is, it's just beautiful. Your wheels have minor imperfections, but the tires are in great condition and we're gonna have date codes along with pictures of the tires and undersides in the link below. Passenger side and driver's side are straight as an arrow. All of your bright work is very nice, and the vinyl top is in excellent condition, along with your port window. Look at how beautiful that insignia is right there, your Lincoln Crest. Town Coupe badging right here. All of your handles are in excellent condition. And when I'm talking about paperwork, this is just the write-up for the paperwork, and it goes over every single feature from exterior to mechanical to driveline. And I love that, that's, that's showing passion. Someone that buys this is gonna be able to jump in it. And when I say every single feature works, we're gonna have a detailed video showcasing all the seats working, the engine running, us driving it, the whole nine yards. Quarter is very nice. When you open up the filler cap, it's in excellent condition. New fuel cap, you do have an upgraded antenna here. And you're wondering, oh, why does it have a shorty antenna? Normally the antenna is this tall. That's because it has an upgraded stereo as well. So you have an upgraded touch screen that matches properly. And I know you guys are gonna go, oh, did he cut the dash? No, the original dash is included. So if you wanna put it back to stock, you can. And we have photos of that in the gallery in the link below. Rear trunk is very nice. And I'll pop it for you shortly. Rear bumper chrome is very nice. All of your bumper fillers match. They're not mismatched in regards to the body color. Your bright work throughout. So if you go down and look at this, it's straight. You even have, oh, come on. I gotta show you the temperature gauge. So you have an exterior temperature gauge. This is gonna show you how hot it is here in Florida today. And when you're driving, you can actually see the temperature there. Let's get to the back. I'm sure you're noticing the exhaust tips. This has a completely custom exhaust. Ford nine inch with posi traction. Let me show you the trunk. It's got a set of keys you can open it up with, or Felix just showed me, if you hold the auxiliary button, it'll pop the trunk for you. Trunk is very clean. You still have your jacking instructions right here. You still have the stamps. So when he brought this over, I go, this is amazing. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. These are the original stamps from Ford. All of your rubber is supple throughout. And then I want you to look inside here. So we have a book with all of the information that's gonna be in the gallery showcasing 
all the work that was done to it, the whole nine yards. We also have all the, the uh, paperwork for the stereo. And then there are minor items in here. So we're gonna showcase the temperature working. He's such a awesome guy. He actually brought us a temp gauge but we actually have a digital one. Right here, we have a jumping station in case you want to jump the auxiliary battery. So it has two batteries because this has a 320 amp alternator to control all these electronics. You do have uh, cutoff switches throughout. So you have two or three cutoff switches. You have an auxiliary cutoff switch. You have one under the hood and one that's actually inside the cabin. This controls your air compressor for your gas shocks. And we'll have a breakdown of the photos in regards to height. Right now, it's set at the leveled height. So you're gonna have a really nice ride. If you lower the pressure a little bit in the rear, it's gonna have a little bit of a rake, but you have the perfect drivability in regards to comfort. And that's what this was built for. You do have an upgraded uh, light back here. So you have a third brake light that's billet. This is very, very clean. I love the metallic brown. Passenger side quarter is very nice. All the rub rubber on the trim is very nice. Town coupe insignia right here again. And then he's very particular in regards to getting door dings. He has these little rubber stoppers here, along with a padding that will be included in case you park it in a garage so you could hang it here and no one can ding the door. Opening up the passenger side, I want you to see how nice all the door edges are. There's no rust on this one. And look at how beautiful that leather interior is. All the power options work. They've all been rebuilt as well. Your door cards are very nice. Your power windows work, even your smoker's window, but this has never been smoked in. Dash is very nice, and I'm sure you're noticing all the screens throughout. So you have side viewing screens for the cameras that are right here on both corners. So that's essentially a double for your, your, your side mirrors. You do have heated side mirrors. Listen to that thing close. Take a look at the driver's side door before we go inside and open up the hood. All your pinch welds are proper, just like the passenger side. Your rubber is very nice. Your rest is very nice. Your poles are not loose. You have all your power switches here. You even have a little hammer here in case you have an emergency or you see someone have an emergency, you can save their lives. Uh, you're noticing this, uh, this silk shirt on top of the leather seat. That's to protect it. That's how particular this customer is. You pull this off, and you're gonna see how nice the pillow design is. All the leather is very nice. Your steering wheel is in pristine condition and all of the wood and the, ins and the inset has been redone and it looks great. So 44,268 miles in the odometer, and I'm sure you're seeing all the features and notes, and we're gonna go over that when we get inside. There's a full detailed uh, list here in regards to things you need to, to watch out for for a vehicle of this age. So if you let it sit or idle for a long time, there's an auxiliary switch with an auxiliary pump for your cooling system, which really helps out. That's, that, that's genius. When I saw it, when I show it to you right now, you're gonna be blown away. As I open up the hood, look at how beautiful the metallic is on here. Here's the engine. So you have a 460. This is a crate motor or a rebuilt motor from Jasper, essentially. You have the March setup. So it has a serpentine setup in the front, MSD ignition, and then you have your additional kill switch right here. AC is ice cold. You do have a fire suppression system as well. So you're gonna see that here, just in case things get a little warm. And then there's notes throughout. So you're gonna see these notes throughout the video. This is to explain how switches work. So this has an emergency fan switch. And then my favorite part is for the cooling of the motor. So these have a lot of issues with heat soak. Our client actually removed the insulation because that allows the engine to, to let the heat out more. You also have an auxiliary pump for your coolant. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna cycle the, the coolant when you turn it off and that allows the engine to stay cooler instead of overheating. When you turn off a motor, it gets hot. You have your battery here and then you have your secondary in the trunk. You have all your fuses here that are all labeled in your relays. Uh, additional cooling fans are the Griffin radiator. So that's a huge, almost three inch radiator right there to keep it cool. And the engine bay is just spectacular. Cruise control works, your brakes have been redone. So if you're looking for a beautiful 1979 Lincoln Continental Town Coupe, this is it. You're looking for turnkey reliability, this is it. If you want ice cold air, this is it. Let's jump inside and show you all the features and take it for a test drive. We're inside the cabin right now. Carpet is very nice. There are no foul odors. Your air conditioning controls are right here. You do have a Pioneer 9-inch touchscreen, which is amazing. And then you're going to have all the gauges you ever need because the check engine light on this one only illuminates when there's a major issue. So you're able to monitor everything in regards to temperature, oil pressure, the whole nine yards. You also can see your RPM right there. So you have a, an additional tack. 
You have a uh, charging center for your, uh, for your phone along with an auxiliary port in case you need to fill up a tire or you could use the air compressor in the rear. You do have a tire monitoring system right here so that's going to give you uh, the pressures for all the tires. All of your uh, wiper controls and light controls are on this side and the dash is very nice. AC is cold. You have your side mirror cameras right here which let me start it up. For this process of starting, you wait for five seconds because it is a fuel injected system. You're going to see all the lights start to illuminate inside of here. And you're going to start it up. It starts up perfectly. You're going to hear all the cameras start to, to fire up. When you close the door and you put it in reverse, you're going to have your cameras turn on on both sides along with in front of you and in behind you. So this is going to have a basic rear view camera and this is pointing down in case there's a curb there you're going to be able to see the curb. That is cool. Steering wheel is in very nice shape. Glove box is right here and you have uh, some additional items and then some items for when this ships out. So when this sells we're going to give the actual driver information so that he knows how to start it so you don't have any issues in the future. You do have satellite radio, uh, obviously a remote start and then you can see all of your tire pressures right here which is amazing. Uh, your, your charging port is on right now. We've got great oil pressure at 65 pounds cold. You can see our TAC. Our TAC operates, main kill switch, and then the rear seat, they removed the center armrest because this seat, this power seat, six-way adjustable, which everything works on it, which I'm doing right now, is moved back eight inches because the driver is a six foot five. So I have it moved almost all the way forward. I'm six foot and I fit perfectly in here now. You do have your turn signals here that operate 44,000 miles in the odometer. Let's check the temperature here. So we're getting to 66 degrees. It's going to get colder as we drive. You can see it's starting to drop here, but it's very comfortable. It's 97 degrees today in Florida. We're going to put it in gear. No banging from the suspension. Right now we have the, uh, the air shock set at centered. So the, the actual pressure is even throughout. The external water pump control feature is right here. So if you shut it off or you get stuck in traffic or you go to dinner and you're going to leave early because you didn't like the service, you could click this switch before you shut it off and it's going to circulate the coolant to allow the engine to stay cool and you're not going to have a hot start issue, which this does not have right now. Cruise control features are right here and we're going to mount the camera and take it for a test drive. So we're going to take this beautiful 79 on a test drive. We're taking it down Marina Mile. We're going to bring it onto our back road so we can go over some bumps and you can see how smooth it is. I really feel like I'm sitting in the living room in the most comfortable couch in the world. Your dash is very nice. All of your power seat functions are working as they should. All of my camera functions are working. And if you get stuck in traffic, so we were waiting for the camera to, to um, get calibrated. I was sitting for about 15 minutes at idle and I noticed the temperature going to like 190. I just flipped this switch right here. It dropped the temperatures and I was good to go. Um, you don't need to do that if you're driving around. It has a huge Griffin radiator, but that turns on your auxiliary fans. Interior is very nice. Your headliner is nice. If you want to control the uh, pressure for your actual um, rear air shocks, you just click this button and you can adjust it. So right now we're at a good pressure. We're jumping on a Marina Mile. It's so smooth, no exhaust notes that are unfathomable like a tick. The engine is very healthy. You can hear the air shocks adjusting right now. That is so neat. Uh, your radio sounds great but we're not going to turn it on for the test drive so you can actually hear how quiet it is inside of here. Closing all of my vents for the windows. Your temperature gauge on the outside is working as it should. You do have a lot more pep than normal from the 79 because this has a Jasper 460 in it so if I give it gas it accelerates. You can hear the uh, the Holly sniper working so you can hear it suck. All your door cards are comfortable. I could fall asleep in here easily, which is dangerous. We're going to test out the cruise control after we do the U-turn. We're going to go over the bridge right now and you're going to see how the suspension reacts. In regards to shift points, drivability, you can jump in this and go anywhere. So that was one of the main things that the customer told us. He goes, Jonathan, I want you to drive this around town, go run errands with it. I want you to see how it performs. And I was blown away. We took it uh, for a test drive to the local hardware store just to make sure that everything is working as it should. And I am pleased to announce that this is the best driving Lincoln Continental I've ever been in. And we've had a lot of them in our stable. Best part, your uh, lights operate as they should. Remember, they're electronic. So those little flaps are going to open up. Cruise control, 
cruise control operates, which is nuts. Oh my gosh, that is cool. We're gonna do a U-turn here and get you guys some nice profile shots of the driver's side and let you decide if you wanna put this in your garage. If you have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Suspension is extremely tight, so all the ball joints, all the suspension up front has been redone. As I said before, Willwood disc brakes in the rear, and I know I'm missing a lot of key components here, but we're gonna have everything in the description. So you're gonna have the book, photos of the book, all the uh, information in regards to how to properly operate this beautiful machine are gonna be included with the sale. So this is one of those cars that you kind of want to buy because everything is mapped out for you. You get to get into a classic vehicle like this with a beautiful design and you're able to know how to operate it. I mean, there's even a sub paragraph for how to wipe off specific items. So say a bird decides to go poop on it, how to clean it up properly. And I love that. That is the coolest feature. You also have no leaks at all. So you can leave this outside, it doesn't leak. There's no foul odors. Carpet is very, very nice. Horn works. She's a keeper. We're gonna take a right so you guys can see it go over all the bumps and make a decision if you wanna put this in your garage. My favorite part, when you put the windows down, it has a smoker's window. So this section will open up and then you have the secondary main glass open up as well. Just so much glass. I feel like I'm in a cruise ship right now. And it closes up nicely. I'm going 55 miles an hour with no issues. Tires feel great. The brakes feel great. This is something you want to put in your garage. If you guys have any questions, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Turning my turn signal on so we can take a right here and go over our signature bumps. Final shots are going to be beautiful artistic shots to let you guys get enamored with this beautiful 1979 Lincoln Continental Resto Mod. It's it looks 100% original from the outside, but it has so many cool features, and that's what I love about it, and that's why we took this project on. If you guys have a unique vehicle like this that you want to sell, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. We have several packages that we offer to help get you the most money for your car or to showcase it in the best way possible so that a buyer has a, a clear and concise view of what they're buying without having to fly in. 95% of our cars are sold sight unseen and we have 100% positive feedback. We've sold over 2,400 classic cars. This is the point where I sign out of the video. I really appreciate you guys watching it. You guys have a great day. Bye.